What is up guys, Rock and Reaper here, and I am bringing you Supernova. Supernova is supposed to be some kind of sci-fi MMORTS acronym game. It's an acronym game. <laughs> I It's in beta right now. Um, I want to say it's an open beta right now. No, it's closed. It has to be closed because it forced me to log in earlier. Yeah, I think. Either way. It's in beta, it's not even officially released. I actually had alpha access to this a long time ago, but I didn't have the time to play it because I wanted to record it. It looked super interesting, and I barely have the time now to start be able to record uh, this game because I wanted to actually dedicate some actual time to take my time to see what this game's all about. So first we are going to select our username. First we should see if we can get our actual username. Quinn. Confirm. Oh, oh, did we get it? A. Alrighty, sounds simple enough. The enemy auger lies at the center of their base, protected by the shield generator. Your primary objective is to advance here and destroy these structures. Commander is arriving on the battlefield. I don't know if y'all followed that, I didn't. Supernova puts you in control of a commander. Commanders are the superior fighters that lead your forces into battle. Okay. Your commander's main properties are displayed under their portrait. My health and mana? Right click on the map to move your commander. Like move Fika to the waypoint marked. Good job. Oh my god, I right clicked. The second waypoint is in an unexplored area of the map, clouded by the fog of war. What's up? Nope. Oh. Your commander has entered a special cloaking field. The field will grant your commander invisibility as long as they stay inside the indicated area and do not attack. However, be advised, if an enemy also enters the cloaking field, they will reveal your commander. Okay. Cloaking field, so bushes. My trigger bonus. finger itches. Visible zone. By default, neutral creeps will guard specific locations. They will only retaliate if they are attacked first. Hmm. Right click on the training Just creep to attack. Do I want to? Or walk. Mitigate that damage. Training creep eliminated. Yeah. Utilize the evacuation function to swiftly return to base. Huh. That's actually pretty quick. Your commander has arrived at the spawning platform, activating regeneration process. The commander upgrade button on the commander panel has been activated. Left click on it to view more. And here you can find your commander's combat parameters. Auto upgrade. Your commander's attribute points oh, are currently these are my being items. distributed automatically. Ah, I get it. If you wish to develop your commander's attributes on your own, you must disable the auto upgrade function. Collecting these attribute shards will gradually fill the attribute bar. Each time you fill the attribute bar, you will earn an attribute point that can be spent on various upgrades for your commander. Oh, what? She's done talking? Okay. However, there are seven proficiency categories. Oh my goodness. Now you will use the drop-off function to deploy your commander at a distant location on the map. There we go. Can we only drop off in certain areas? Like, how's that? These enemies are marked on your minimap as yellow dots. The bigger the dot on your minimap, the more powerful the creep. Firing. Pop. Excellent. Got it. These structures will provide various benefits to you and your forces. Your primary goal is the destruction of the enemy auger. Mm -hmm. Waves of enemy forces will periodically spawn here and charge towards your auger. After spawning, seconds. your forces will charge towards the enemy along a predetermined path known as the lane. <gasps> For the purposes of this training exercise, all training units will be built automatically. Oh my God. In normal games, however, you will be what? in charge of building your own forces. Alright. Nice, oh, let's get going. Get it. Advance it. towards the enemy base and destroy the shield Our generator. Ultimates. The auger is invulnerable until this task is silence. accomplished. What? Destroy Let's the enemy that. shield generator. Let's do this right here. And bang. Nice. Uh oh. It's a new. The enemy has used the tactical ability Peacemaker against your forces. So. 
right here. Drop it right there. Well, too. Drop it while it's hot. Attack and destroy it to win the game. Oh, was I supposed to kill the thing? I didn't even shield generator destroyed. I thought maybe it was like a shield generator or something. <laughs> hey, we did it. That, that was. Gosh, she made me tired. I was actually falling asleep over here. At the start of each battle, you will get initial resources that you can spend on your forces. Uh huh. Unlock your first set of units by purchasing an exoskeleton factory. Click the factory's icon to start this construction. Purchasing units will cost resources and use up supply. The size of your forces increase with each new unit you purchase. Once deployed, they will charge the enemy. Your forces spawn in waves over the course of the battle. Oh, All that's cool. units you purchase will spawn in every I consecutive have to wave. That, like, forces will spawn build near your auger once that's really the timer cool. has expired. Once your forces spawn, they charge towards the enemy on a preset path known as the lane. The lane. When two opposing forces meet, they will automatically attack each other. Each unit has its own set of strengths and weaknesses. One unit may be highly effective against a certain type of enemy. While another unit might be useless against that same enemy. <coughs> For example, well. some units can only attack enemies on the ground, while others can only attack airborne units. Your force performance in battle is represented by the force hmm. balance bar. That's really cool. Like, I actually like that. It kind of gives you like the a forge real is in complete. time. This is Purchase how the battle's going so far. To counter the enemy dragonflies. Like my killer outfit. Selecting the proper uh, units to use against the enemy can sometimes be a difficult task. Oh, and I was saying earlier about the towers regaining your health and mana. Well, like, that makes deep. Because look at these towers. Like, their health is pretty freaking low. So that makes things really good. And then I was worried, like, how we can go back to base so quickly. Like, that's kind of a problem here. It's not that much of a problem when the whole intent is for you to stay out in the battlefield anyways with the tower okay, regaining your okay. health. So that's pretty interesting. I Not like what yet. they're doing there. This suggestion system also has an auto deploy feature that will purchase huh. any active unit suggestions automatically. Okay. I think we get it. Our forces have destroyed the on. enemy's top shield we generator. Got it. See, that was it. It was easy. Hey, the augers destroyed. Hooray. Yay. This is a short tutorial that teaches you the basics of the lobby. Please press okay. confirm you need to select your commander. Click Ooh. on the portrait of a commander to the Dika, left. So that's who we've been playing. Slith, a ranged caster. And Reptus. Well, we gotta go with the caster, right? Your selected that's commander is oh, categorized okay. as a caster, which can deal great damage with its abilities, but is often more fragile than other commanders. Keep your distance and play defensively until you improve your abilities to deal heavy damage. You can gain additional information about your selected commander by clicking the info button in the top right corner of the left panel. And you can also change the look of your selected commander by using special skins. Commander skins are available for purchase in the store. So this is really cool as far as a champ select thing goes. Huh. And then you can. Ooh, ooh. Eh, I like the base game better. Not gonna lie. Okay. Now select your tactical abilities. Click Manage Tacticals, the slot you want to fill, and then select the desired ability. Alternatively, you can drag the abilities you want to use into the tactical slots. Select your force set from the available options. You can add and customize force sets mm -hmm. in your profile. Add units and technology. Select your augmentation loadout. For now, you can only select from a few default loadouts, from which we recommend the caster loadout. Commanders in slots number oh, one on. and number two of both teams send their forces in the top lane, while the commander in slot number three sends units in the middle lane and commanders in slots number four and number five fight for the bottom mm. lane. Your forces from now on, you can access all settings. Once you are satisfied with your choices, you can press the lock button. The match starts when all players are locked or the timer reaches zero. Oh. Thank you for taking this short tutorial. All right, and then this is Vika, of course. Is that that girl we've been playing? Oh, that looks kind of cool. 
Steel Battalion. Oh, wow. That looks really cool. All right. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Reptus. He looks like a carry. Ooh. Wow, that guy looks cool. You know what? I think we have to go Reptus. We just have to. Look at him. He looks so cool. Alright, manage tactile elements. What are tactical abilities? What? Alright, 60 resources every time the plant levels up, but I haven't unlocked that yet. To attack target enemy commander. Uh huh. Can it be restores health and energy to my commander? So it's kind of like a smite, it looks like. Peacemaker. Oh, it's Peacemaker. Oh, well, that's kind of like our flash right there. Ghost. <laughs> Sorry, I'm using leak terms. Oh, anyways, rush. Alright, movement speed. Uh, attack speed by 25, movement speed by 30. Oh, that's not bad. Displacement. That looks really cool. Medical drone. I want that. That was really good last uh, in the tutorial. So I'm going commander. Hands them to hold the position 15 seconds. Really? That'd be really cool in building up a wave. Uh, hmm. For now, uh, let, let's go with these. Ah. Urgh, I don't know. Let's go with that, actually. I'd rather take that. Alright, tutorial force one. Improve base defense. Diplomacy. Hmm. Pathfinder, Stinger, Scorpion, Dragonfly. Pathfinder, Stinger, Scorpion. Same thing. You four sets. Doesn't seem to matter. Brawler. Hashtag Brawler, hashtag Caster. Ha! That's funny. Alright. Uh, I think that's it, right? Let's, let's see his abilities real quick. Before we get into this. Oh, tutorial horse. I'm so blind. I'm looking over here like it doesn't do anything. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so this guy, let's check out his stuff. He's got some lore. Can't read that right now. Attack buff. Passive every fourth base attack. Deals additional damage. Increases weapon damage and armor penetration. Okay. Pike spiral. Does damage by enemies, hitting any target with this ability increases his armor movement speed. Cooldown of Pike Spiral should be set when killing commander or gaining an assist. Hmm, interesting. So kind of his way to keep chasing people once he kills them. So he's a carry. It's a melee carry. Increased movement speed in cloaking fields for a short duration after leaving it. Interesting. Or just throws a net onto a target ground unit that slows it for a short duration. He can quickly dash to that target during this time by reactivating easy prey. Huh. And then death pike. Percentage of all damage dealt to non-structure targets, so commanders and minions restores health. Active. Impales a target commander, damaging it and fling it behind him. Interesting. Alright, let's do it. Behold, Reptus, Spear of the Vesta. Ooh, Ooh look at these guys. Xenos, Targon, Legatus, Carno, Nefaria, Ares, Five, Veladre, Bloat, best looking guy in the game, Maxwell, Blaze, look, I told you, Blaze, Blaze decided to join us now. But look at Bloat, man, he, I'm telling you, man, gorgeous, gorgeous, Bloat, best looking dude in the game, best. Meanwhile, Veladre there, Ooh. Not gonna lie, she looks pretty, pretty cute. Alright, setting up our little town, because, you know, why not? Here we come. I wonder, I bet you can buy cosmetics for the ship. Alright, oh yeah, I'm assuming health and damage is what I'm gonna want here. I kill for entertainment! Alright, we're gonna get some base units here. Those up. All right, we're going top lane. That's right. 
So this is what the lanes look like. Let's kind of have an overview of the map here. Oh, never mind. Before the first wave of your forces spawn, mercenaries join the battle as reinforcements for the first six waves. Oh, really? That's cool. Attack and destroy a first line tower. Follow your units to the top lane and attack the enemy tower while it is distracted by firing at your units. All right, get two of those, one of those. Destroy a first line tower. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Just trying to check out the map here. Wait, are units already moving? Wow, look at her units. That's cool. I like the balance. It's got a set top, mid, and bottom. That's really neat. It didn't feel as fluid for me, by the way. That's why I really wanted to play this melee guy. To kind of get a feel for this. See, you know, is this really not as fluid as I was hoping it would be? All commanders Whoa. get the sensor drone tactical ability. Once placed, the sensor drone clears the fog of war in a small radius. The sensor drone can withstand a few hits hmm. from enemy commanders. Sensor drones become stealthed shortly after being placed and require stealth detection to be destroyed. Interesting. Okay, so it's like a... I'm not going to say it. But yeah. Anyways, let's get that dragonfly thing, because that was really... That looked really good. Let's get this for wave clearing here. Three, huh? So like that. I assume you could be a jungler in this game. And this guy looks like he would be one. Oh. Oh, man. I can't kill that handsome thing. Sensor drone. Okay, so like, like this. Right? I'm not wrong. Oh, get off me, dude. You're so beautiful. I don't want to hurt you. Maxwell. Maxwell. What are you doing, buddy? Get off me. Someone's missing. Oh my gosh, did my thing just call Forward. missing? Oh my goodness. Our bottom guard tower is under attack. Rising shield. Oh, snap. Alright, let's let's get back a little bit. Let's heal up at our tower, right? For How far do I have to go? Right there? Oh, so pretty close, huh? Or about that circle thing. Auto deploy is on, really. Power shield. Let's go ahead and leave it on for now. I'm not worried about it. Okay. I shall bring you Enemy taken out. Adam. Adam. Your commander needs healing. Return to the base platform to heal up fast, or stand next to a friendly tower to gain increased health regeneration. You can also use your medical drone tactical Ooh, ability can I? to heal your commander when available. Okay, let's do that. I didn't know it would heal me too. Good day to die. All right, let's and use that. I've shed the old skin. Bring out some scorpions. Let me get just one. Auto deploy is on. I really shouldn't be doing anything, but you know, whatever. I like feeling like I'm in control right now. Just focus on the game for now. <laughs> I could probably go jungle after this, right? I mean, I assume my level's high enough. It seems like it is. I think I need one more point, though. Oh, snap. Hello. Can I, like, throw this over there? No, I have to throw it on out on an enemy. Blotus, careful. You're taking a lot of damage. Don't do it. Advance. I got your back. Oh. Yes, I get the tower's gonna attack me. You said that earlier. Can't you see I'm going in for a dive? Gosh. Slice coming up. My powers grow stronger. Right, I'm assuming I need that. Not give me strength. Oh, yeah. Carnage. You never stood a chance. All right, let's wait for our evacuation here. 
Those six seconds for evacuation to come through, it looks like. I could have sworn I saw it eight earlier, but maybe that was for the tutorial, I'm not sure. Alright, weapon. Let's get some armor since we're going to try the jungle. And let's get some more damage and health. There we go. Then I have a proficiency thingy, right? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see right. Enemies each second. That would help me clear the jungle. Beat down. Increases life on a hit. Yep, that's what I would need. Right there. Oh. Use the drop off ability to reach distant visible locations on the map. Really? Can it go anywhere? Let's try it. Let's try it right there. It can. That's super cool. And here I am. Yes. Wow. Auto deploys got it. Oh, no. I got your back. Do you? I'm gonna go try to kill some of these creatures. Let's try it out. Got our smite, more or less. To victory and give me strength. I didn't want you to help me. Advance further and destroy a second line tower. Our forces have destroyed the enemy's middle guard tower. Face me. Death pike. Awesome. I shall bring you their heads. It gives you a little counter to when they'll come back. So these look like it would be a bigger camp because the yellow dot's bigger right here. Is this a red buff? <laughs> Upgrade modules. What? There are four upgrade modules on the map. By securing them and collecting their contents. Oh, my whole team gets it. Oh my gosh. Attribute shards. The modules have strong guardians, so attack them only with teammates or after your commander hits level ten. Why? What do I want to do right now? The first enemy tower is eliminated. Destroying enemy towers gives all friendly commanders experience and attribute shards anywhere on the map. That's good. As you leave the lane, you'll find neutral creeps in various locations. Defeating them earns your commander experience and unique buffs. Once a creep camp is completely cleared, it will spawn new creatures after a few minutes. New ones? Completely new? Time until the next respawn is in that's cool. It was completely new. That's really cool. Alright, let's wait a little bit. Yes. I'm gonna wait for my... My void. An What's it called? Impulse strike to come back up? Alright, we should be good by now. Strike. Actually, it's cool the little ones first, man. One slice coming up. Oh wow, that did not do that much damage. Feel my wrath. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping it would do. Can I ult him? I wonder if that's a thing. No, I cannot. He's gonna kill me. Woo, jump. So B and F both work for evacuation, by the way. That's cool. Alright, attack speed. Let's get that since we got the on hit build. <laughs> not yet. Oh, not yet. Oh, you can only drop off. Oh, okay, it has a cooldown. Wow. That's interesting. I didn't realize it was going to have a cooldown. I shall bring you there. Oh no, Blaze, run away. Run away. Bloat's going to kill you. Oh my goodness. Oh, Bloat. Ew, gross. You were empty inside. That's all. You were just empty inside. Forward. I'm about to kill this dude right here. Alright, easy prey. Come on. Oh. Tower still up, really? I thought it was down. It's been a tower in the other lane that was down. Take that thing down. Oh, can I dive him? Might be able to. Let's clear some of these minions here. Not yet. Okay, get back. I think we can dive him. Let's go for it. He looks super weak. 
Oh. Yeah. Got him. Got him, son. Oh, I'm the only one here. Run away. Damage. That damage. Does Blaze actually support you now? I mean, I'm getting shields from him. Her. I don't know. Got him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Towers attack me. I cannot be stopped. My deploy will be up soon. I'm too low to really do anything, so let's go heal up by the tower. Huh. Signal pings. You can get your teammates' attention by holding Alt and clicking with the left mouse button on a location or target. To send special signals, hold the mouse button a little longer and select a signal from the interface. Guess how many keyword bindings I'm going to be doing. Okay. I'm on my way. Let's see what they all look like. Danger. Enemy missing. Help me. On my way. Forward. Oh, he's so low. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Get that big dummy. Ask for my autograph, not my mercy. Oh, and these are our Oh, that's a really cool way of just looking at it right away. Like a real quick glance to see how your lanes are doing and stuff. I like that. Oh. Big guy's coming after me again. Alright, let's see if we can take this down. Got it. So yeah, it does feel just a tiny bit clunky, but not enough that it matters, to be honest with you. Like, I don't think it matters as much. It's not as... It doesn't feel fluid like League of Legends or Dota or anything like that. Actually, like League of Legends or Smite, they feel more fluid, like a, like really fluid. I mean, that's, that's really the only way I can put it. Um, where this kind of feels like Dota, actually. You know, it's a little bit more... Not clunky, I would say slow paced. Slow and calculated, I guess, if you want to give it anything. I kill for entertainment. Our forces have neutralized an enemy. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go back because I have my drop off already and I need to get some points. Spin my points. Let's get some more damages. Some attack speed. And some Let's get some armor. Bio rebounds. Hmm. Kind of want to get that plasma pulsating thing. And should I get that? Or should I get this? Our forces have destroyed the enemy's bottom guard. Let's get bio rebound. All right. Anyways. Coming in hot. So this is kind of their version of a teleport, so to speak. You know, get around the map really quickly. I can see how this is super useful for ganks and stuff. You need help, buddy, down bottom? I'm coming in. Especially as this guy is a carry and whatnot. I bet you he, he can gank. Especially with his ultimate, man. Flip him backwards. Just come in behind them, flip them, and man, they're done. I kill. Oh gosh. Oh, run. No. Yes. Who dares challenge me now? The enemy is attacking our middle guard tower. Are they now? 
I will break should do something about it. Galandre. Coming, coming. Get her, get her. Got her. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, hold on. I get movement speed in here. I'm gonna come get him too. I get speed from doing Best that. For my autograph, not my mercy. So what is he thinks he's a celebrity? Is that what's going on? Oh, Vanquished. Get in the middle. Cleave everybody. Whoops, I didn't mean to flash. No, I mean teleport, here. whatever it's called. Displacement. Too long a word for me to say. I didn't mean to blink. How about that? Enemy towers yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost down. Enemy top guard tower destroyed. Got him. Enemy down. Got him. Got him. Got him. I am the tip of the spear. Hold on. He's the tip of the spear. I don't know if you got that, but he is. We need to go back. Get some more points. And then upgrade our health thing to rank three. Rank three. There we go. Bio rebound. Attack speed and weapon damage. Brute force. We're full on damage right here. Damage carry here, so we're gonna do it. Let's go try to take these guys on again. Should be able to do it now. If we can't, I'm pathetic. <laughs> I'm sure they have specific junglers. I'm pretty sure he could have done it, like if I got some armor or something. I'm not sure. No, I don't need help. Believe it or not, I got this. Look at that. My on hit damage too much. You're a jerk. Remember the Vesca. Shards. Okay, so I've already gotten it. Good. Wanted to make sure that was established. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's kill that fatty punk. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, I can't run from me. Executioner. I get movement speed, I get movement speed. He can't run from me. Told you. Can't run from me. Off with their head. Off with their head. The Red Queen. Destroyer. Alrighty. Let's take this thing down. It is an auto attack reset. I thought it was. Now that all the lane's towers have been destroyed, the path is now open to attack the lane shield generator. Destroy it to reduce the auger's absorption shield. Destroy a shield generator. I hear you, lady. Oh, snap. I can take them both. What am I talking about? Oh, not with their auger there, though. Oh, what's going on here? What is this? Your teammates are fighting to capture the quantum prison. Once its guardian is defeated, capture the structure to spawn powerful mechanauts with your team's next force waves. Be wary. The enemy team could attack while fighting the Guardian or while capturing the structure to try to steal it. Alright, so I should move over there with my team. On my way, team. Fortunately, I don't have my deploy. It looks like you'll get it before I even get there. But I'll try my best. Now that the enemy auger is vulnerable, you can destroy additional shield generators to further... 
We got it. Hooray. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. In a normal battle, once you reach max level, your forces will start collecting supremacy points when they cross the map's halfway line. You can earn battlefield supremacy after collecting a certain amount of points. This grants your commander extra damage, health, and energy regeneration. Oh, it's a way to end the game. I get it. So they don't want comebacks. They just want, if you're ahead by a lot, just end the game. To the fray. Still gotta capture it. Our forces have destroyed the enemy's middle guard tower. Deploy in 15 seconds or so. Quantum prison secured. Prepare. I want to try to do this with deployment. me though. Let's take this one then. Help me, right? Remember the Vesca. No? Okay. Take him over myself. Enemy has been destroyed. I got this. I got this. Look at them. Fall before my feet. So there's only one epic camp in here, so to speak. At least that's that's what I'm getting here. Two, one. Nope, sorry. I thought I was gonna be able to do it before I got here. Alright, there we go. Your team has seized the cargo dock. We got the cargo dock. Dot dock. Gosh, can't talk. Uh let's see, attack speed, some more damages. Mmm. Let's see. Basic attack, slow the target. Why, you don't say. Alright. Wow, look at that thing. That thing is huge. What about here? Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Alright, I'm coming. Our forces are attacking the enemy's auger. Enemy middle shield generator destroyed. The auger. The auger's gonna go down. I'm here. Let's do it. Take him down. Yeah. Yeah. Heals. Heals for everything. Blink. We did it. <laughs> wow, this. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, honestly. My level 12 human. Human. You can find Ooh, the results of the match at the top with your most important personal statistics displayed below. Detailed statistics can be found on the second tab. You don't say. 11.15. For each matched game completed, you gain three types of rewards. Faction experience, intergalactic credits, and elements. Mm -hmm. Experience is collected for the faction, humans or cyborgs, you have played. With each level up, you unlock new items like units, tactical abilities, or other cool rewards. If you want to speed up leveling your factions, you can purchase XP boosters in the store. You also gain intergalactic credits, huh. or IC, that you can use in the store to unlock commanders, units, and technologies that increase the effectiveness of your forces. You can gain bonus IC by completing missions each day. Okay. Lastly, you are rewarded with a few random elements. These are ingredients for crafting augmentations. You can create custom augmentation loadouts besides the existing four in your profile. Get an increased amount of elements for winning normal five versus five matches and using boosters. Hope you have enjoyed your game. You can press the done button to return to the main menu. Okay. Is that it, lady? Are we done? Are we really truly done? I think we're really truly done. We are really truly done. I believe. <laughs> I hope. Ban or Tutorial completed. Alright, so now you can play as human, play as cyborg, normal, co-op, solo practice, prac practical, practice. So human cyborg so that reptilian thing was known as human still Ooh, let's change my thingy oh man all of these look kind of cool all of them look kind of cool 
kind of want the pumpkin, but the spirit school looks cool too. Man. Let's go with that. Look like the spirit school. Looks awesome. Alright, so there's a human cyborg faction. I guess it depends on whatever champion hero thing you play. Um, by the way, hold on. Before we go there, I wanted to do this the entire time. Where's that music? Down. Down. Okay. Anyways. So profile, player level is three. Uh, let's purchase forces. What is here? Oh, okay, this just edits what I can get and stuff. I can't even get them yet. These require a lot of faction levels. Forces, edits. What am I gonna edit? Get unit text? Oh my goodness. Wait, I can unlock all these or wants me to unlock them? Oh right, unit text. So this is at, uh, so once you've maxed out your supply, you can use these to further enhance your army. That is super cool. Let's get armor in that. I don't know if we have to purchase anything else. Let's go here. Is that it? Oh, right here. Empty slots. Armor penetration. And armor here. Yeah. That is cool. Okay. I totes like that. Okay, these are proficiencies. Tactiles. Different commanders. Oh man. Different commanders. Oh. I was gonna say I wish it gives me a full view of them. Oh man, there's Blotus. There's Dr. Blotus. Bloat, actually. Atalus, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Alias. Oh wow, that looks super cool. I'm not gonna go through their abilities now because that's not that we're not that's this is not the time for that. But I do want to look at them. That's Ares 5, it looks really cool. The double click by the way. Axion. Reminds me of a certain flying demon I know. Anyways. Bro. Bro. That's cool. Blaze, we know Blaze. She's been all up in our stuff. We saw just saw blue. I don't know why I clicked on him. Dagger, dagger, dagger. I think it's dagger, dagger. I know I said I don't want to go there, abilities, but I just saw summoning, and I was like, oh, that's cool. I love summonings. I always love any game that lets me summon. Eos. Oh my gosh, that also looks like. That's like a couple things. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go into that, I saw Ares five. We didn't see their skins. Hold on. Face off. Wow. Axiom. Axiom. Whoa, he's a samurai dude. That looks cool. Bro. What do you got, bro? Whoa. That is not what I was expecting. He's the Shredder. He's Hades in Shredder's suit. That's what he is. Oh my goodness, it's Left Shark. Left Shark is here. <laughs> Alright, we saw Bloat. Dagger. Oh wow. That's actually really cool. Okay. Eos. This guy looks oh my goodness. He looks amazing. I always love tentacle beasts. Like they look so cool. So obviously this is Matrix inspired. And this is anime inspired. Anyways, moving on. Gala Galagat? Galagat. He just looks cool from a character design perspective. Viridian Warrior. Ooh, I like. I really like that one better, though. That looks really cool. Itari. Oh, hello. And Road Warrior. Wow, that looks really cool. First one looks more badass, but that looks cool, too. Alright, JP. Ah. I feel like we've seen this before. <laughs> Where's the shark? Eh, that one kind of, it kind of looks alright. Not super impressed. Legatus Kernel, Carnal, Carnage. That's not what it says, but you know, whatever. Afterburner. Huh. 
Maxwell. All the guns. Okay, Maxim. Got a giant hammer. It's good to know. Whoa. Warhammer. Anyways. Mortanica? Mortanica? She looks cool. Just a coloration. Outcast. Oh my goodness. I love it. That looks amazing. I like both of those. Both of those are cool. The base and the outcast. Mad Max inspired. That's what I would say. Nefaria. Ooh, she's a caster. I didn't even need to look to the left to look at that. Oh, wow. Wow, StarCraft, you're up in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a lot more characters in this game than I thought there was going to be. She looks pretty cool. Eh, coloration. Looks alright. Not a fan, not a fan. Reptus, we saw him. Shadratch, what the... I'll give him kudos for character design. These characters really look interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Scrime. Oh gosh. He's a turtle. Eh, eh. What? This is bro. I'm not gonna lie, this is bro. That's also Dallas Cowboys. Hello, hey. Representing my football team. Alright, Slith. Oh, yeah, we saw his stuff. Talothrax? What? Talothrix? Whoa, I love any insect type thing. I can already see the preview for that other skin there at the end, too. Cyber. Dragon Worm. Yeah, look at that. That is badass. I love it. I love it so much already. Wow, look at that. If you're not into creepy crawlies, you probably hate that, but I love it. Targon. Oh my gosh, it's a Minotaur. It's a cyborg Minotaur. That is amazing. Oh gosh. Totodal? Is that you? Grown up? Hello? In armor? <laughs> Alright, Targon. Storm Herald. I assume he shoots electricity stuff. Whoa! That looks like something straight out of Warframe. That looks cool. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Velandre. You're the one that I thought looked really cute. What can I say? I'm into aliens. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, kitty. I know you're going to see this eventually. And Hello. Don't spend money right away. We don't know if I even like this character. If I do, I'll buy it for you, kitty. I promise. Vika, we saw Vika. Xenos. Pretty cool. I like the white and green, of course, and robots. Eh. Hello, Anubis. I didn't know you were coming to say hi. Welcome to this game. Ha! <laughs> Look, he left. Ha! <laughs> Zankir. Whoa! Goro. This is his nephew, Zankir. And this is Genji's nephew. <laughs> oh, I love it if you actually re realize who I'm referring to. Alright guys, well that is everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this is super long. I did not mean for it to be as long as it turned out to be. I'll bring you more gameplay of this. Um, as I said, I'm actually really interested in how this game works, and it's a game I've had my eye on for a while, but I've just, I haven't had the time to really check into it. So, again, if you want more videos of this, please let me know. I'm at least going to do one more matchmaking, maybe two more, just to check it out. But, of course, if you really, if you really just want to see more Supernova, then like, comment, however you want to communicate to me that you want to see more of these videos. 
And if you also would want to see these in a super cut fashion like I do with League of Legends, you know, basically 30 minute match cut down into five, six minutes, then let me know that as well and I'll do whatever it takes. But that's me signing out guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.